Uh, <laughs> I mean, you are playing as well now. Uh, I'm up against Frost. I don't think Frost is here. I think he. Uh, I've not seen him. Um... Nope, I don't see him either. Um, Arnen is playing physics fan. Okay. Okay, I'm about to play again. Okay. Um, what I might do, yeah, uh, what you can do is if you want, is just cast it from your perspective, and uh, I'll mute my mic, and I can just run Observer if you'd like, uh, or I'll just cast a different game if you'd prefer. Um, I tried to do that in the first game, um, but it got really intense because I messed up in between, <laughs> like somewhere, and then I got really quiet because I had to focus. Oh, I yeah, I do that all the time on that. streams. It's yeah, really so hard to it's... play on stream. Yeah, so I guess um, as soon as I lose, I can uh, join you, but until oh, then... We're up at 16 people now, watching. Yeah. <laughs> Script and a uh, little bit worried he's going to get wrecked. Uh, heads, heads. Yeah. Uh, I didn't specify who was calling. That was super dumb. Uh, oh, but it. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, for anyone on the stream. I'm a little bit inundated with players right now. Okay, I'm just gonna mute myself and start a game. Or do you want to cast this? Um, I can either cast yours if you want, or I'll cast Iron Man, uh, Iron Man versus Physics fan. I don't mind. Um, it's your choice, to be honest. Oh, I'll come cast you. I've not seen you play yet. Okay, so it's uh, Steps of War. Um, it's open already. Alright, uh, give me just a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm being... <laughs> I have... Uh, so many players trying to chat me. Um, right, so I'm in... Yep, you're correct. Yep, okay, uh, I'm in lobby, just... You can play the game, I'll join you in just a second. Uh, don't okay, I'm going to mute my myself again. Alright. Okay, see you. See you in a bit. Uh, so... Uh, Arnen is going to have to forfeit his match there. Um, so Vizix fan will go on to the next game. Uh, give me just a second. Uh, there you go. Oh, okay, so... Right, so we'll be uh, casting Drumlock versus Scriptan in just a second. Um, right, so we are into the game now, and in the top right-hand corner, just taking his first tournament showing ever in the uh, alternate stream. It is Drumknot. Drumknot was the guy that you saw briefly pop on to uh, voice chat a second ago, and he will be casting again later. Physics fan just dropping out so he doesn't uh, lag anything out. Down in the bottom left hand side, been around the game for a fair while now, it is Scriptan. Scriptan going for a house first here, so he is going to be going for quite an aggressive build. And that's pretty good on a map like this. There's no high ground. 
and the chokes are pretty open. You can defend it on this map. Uh, it has been done before if you look at bods like Jibs vs Venny in either the round of 8 or the grand finals last month. But it is going to be roughly the same build out of both players. Drumknot is going to have a slower build uh, though. So that is going to cost them a little bit, especially with this map only has about a 30 40 second rush distance. And Scripton? Okay. What? Scripton rallying to the. Okay. <laughs> Threw me for a minute there, guys. This is a unusual build. Um, players don't usually grab and expand after a house, simply for the reason that a house is a fair investment. Uh, if you're not getting it for supply, so to make it worth it, you need a barracks. But if you're not getting barracks and you get an expand, you may as well get the expand faster. The only thing is, I guess, is if he's scouting out drum knot and he's trying to uh, see which he could choose. But I don't think he even. Um, John not starting his barracks on the back side here, so he's going to be able to go... <laughs> uh, he's going to be able to get out of uni pretty uh, pretty quickly. And Scripton is actually calling out Proxy, which is quite interesting that John not's managed to hide this. And this is going to force out uh, a little bit of scouting here from Scripton. <laughs> Drum not giving it all away. A fool. Um, and this barracks is going to finish up now. And it is going to be rifleman straight out of drum knot here. I like the idea of going rifleman rather than soldier. A bit more harass potential, a bit more range. Sorry guys, I've got to uh, <laughs> got to turn that setting off. Um, script I'm just confirm confirming no expansion yet, and I'm not actually with a proxy up to the side here, but I'm not actually hasn't gotten out much to deny this tower. So this tower will go up. This map does allow you to get in uh, through the side of the natural here from the third, so that is quite interesting. <laughs> Just script something, don't micro. Um, as drum knot is. Yeah, it's gonna be able to force the worker away. Don't think he'll get the kill yet. Well, he might do. Oh, is he gonna get it? No, he's not gonna get it. It's in range of the tower now. Um, so this is gonna be a proxy racks as well here from drum knot. And that is gonna be two racks. And that's two racks on one base. Also commonly known to anyone who's played the game for a while as a two racks all in, simply because you can't really f uh, spend much more gold uh, than just supplying the two racks enough gold to make uh, units. So you've got to do damage, or you're really quite a long way behind. Um, Visit's fan is actually weird enough behind the workers. He's not. Sorry, the Scriptan even. I keep calling Visic sign because he's in blue. Um, Scriptan is not making workers. Okay, I guess he was skipping to go for the barracks there. Drumnaut's going to be able to harass on this left hand side and try and get the workshop down. And that's why fast expanding is a little bit riskier on this map. Normally, people like Venny will put down a tower here, it covers the space a lot more effectively. Even if it is a little bit further back, you're gonna see Scriptan's probably gonna have to go for a soldier here. It is the slightly better defensive option, <laughs> as uh, Scriptan realizes the workshop's going down on the left-hand side and he can't defend it. I'm not just oh, he is actually gonna be able to find the worker there, but he's also in range of the tower, which is not what he wants. Oh, but he is going to be harassed now. Scripton throwing down the tower on the left hand side, but I don't think it's going to be fast enough. These riflemen are going to get on top of it and uh, deny it. Scripton pulling yet more workers. 
And uh, he may just die here to this two racks all in. Soldiers parked up outside, ready to run in. Scriptan's putting so many workers in on this uh, tower, he desperately wants it to go up. Drumnaut soldiers dancing back and forth, not quite deciding what they want to do. Tower does go up though, and uh, workers come in for the surround now. I think it'd be better for Drumnaut to try and go for worker kills, not tower kills here, but... I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes. The tower is getting pretty low. This, this tower on the right hand side actually is doing quite a lot of damage as the second soldier falls. But this is going to be a complete all in here from Drumnot. This is really impressive to see. As all the workers come flooding into the main base. Scriptdown's choice to skip the uh, workers is going to punish him a little bit now. As he comes to join the fight. And uh, he's going to try and hug this tower. See if he can survive there. I'm not without enough gold to really uh, do anything else. And it looks like they're going to go for a base trade. Scriptan's going to run over to his opponent's base. Going to meet this sword and try and do some damage. As uh, Drumnot goes in for the Scriptan's base. What is it with this weekly tournament and uh, base trades? And you can see just in the uh, unit tab in the top left here. Look, top left there that uh, Scriptan... Drumnot does have an advantage. I'm all over the place at the moment. Scriptan has an advantage? Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Right, Scriptan comes into the main base here with a bunch of workers, and there's nothing really he can kill. Workers have such low damage, they do 5 damage a hit, and oh, yeah, Drum not taking down this tower now, and there's not anything really left Scriptan can do. Scriptan throws down the tower in the corner here, so he is going to try and form a last stand here, so if he can kill enough of his opponent's stuff underneath the tower. But the bigger problem is, is if these two buildings go down, well these three buildings go down, this tower is the last thing left. And uh, if Drumnot takes that tower along with the other buildings, that's it. Game over. Never mind the units. And Drumnot's getting into position here, starts for concave and he takes a bit of damage from the tower, it's not what you want. He does have a unit advantage, but some of them are at quite low health, and he runs in here. He's going to back off, drop some worker as this happens. And time's on Drumnot's side. There's nothing in the production tab. But he's going to sneak in here and try and do some mining, which uh, puts a lot of time pressure there on a script then. He's going to get up to 60 gold soon. That's going to be another worker. That's what he wants. And it's just going to be more advantages. The rifleman can just sit here comfortably outside this range. And you can see these buildings are about to go down. Scriptan's trying to make a worker as well in the background here. Uh, I'm not sure what drum oh drumlot's gold actually went into a soldier, that's probably a better choice. As, uh, this is just a bit of a stalemate. Drumlot's gonna keep mining here. Scriptan goes in with the workers, he's going to try and get on top of these riflemen. He does get a surround, but the soldiers start dealing with damage. Workers get on top, some of the workers by drum not, not properly controlled, they're being lured over towards the tower. And uh, this is it for Scriptan. Scriptan gets surrounded, last few workers start to go down, it's down to three workers. Scriptan GG's out, and Drumnot takes game one of this series. Oh, I don't know where Lab is. Lab, if you're watching, uh, come spectate. 